We also have been talking about this bombshell report that came out from ProPublica appearing to reveal that for years, Justice Clarence Thomas has secretly accepted luxury gifts from a GOP mega donor, Harlan Crow. Gifts like private jet flights, luxury yacht cruises. And according to the report, the Supreme Court justice never reported them on annual financial disclosures. Well, that's a problem. The details are quite remarkable, and the images tell a story of how the conservative-leaning judge accepted these lavish getaways to Indonesia, New Zealand, a posh lakeside resort in the remote Adirondack Mountains there in New York. Well, our senior Washington correspondent, Devin Dwyer, has all the details from the report. I'll tell you what, these are some serious violations. Alleged violations, meticulous reporting, though. You know ProPublica, Kira. It's a very distinguished news outlet. And these trips that you talked about have been going on allegedly for more than 20 years. Uh, we should say no one would begrudge a government official for going on vacation. But the fact that these were luxury, uh, private jet flights, yacht cruises, all given at the expense of a man named Harlan Crow. He's a Republican uh, mega donor. He's a real estate developer from Texas. He's a billionaire. There's no indication we should say that Crow had any business before the court, any direct conflicts but justices and there you see them there are supposed to disclose these things every year any kind of gift uh, of the, certainly of this level should go down in an annual disclosure report published with the with the court why for transparency for impartiality these are the judges in the highest court of the land uh, the public needs to know that there aren't conflicts he did not apparently do so here he did at least once in the past so he <laughs> he did know at one point that these sorts of flights should be disclosed and that's why this is so concerning and as you said the remarkable thing here in this report is that there are pictures right. there are photos There's of images. the justice with this donor traveling on these trips. So are we hearing from Clarence Thomas? Are we hearing from Harlan Crow? No response yet from the court or the justice who, we should say in the past, has dismissed these kinds of stories as attacks, liberal smears uh, on his credibility. Now, Mr. Crow, Harlan Crow, has given us a statement. I just received it. He confirms the relationship with Justice Thomas and says that they are dear friends, that this was simply an extension uh, of hospitality on the part of him and his wife to the Thomases. Uh, and then in no instance were any cases or lobbying uh, taking place discussed on these trips that these were gatherings of friends. Again, those sorts of things are okay uh, with, with people from all sorts of political persuasions. But as a Supreme Court, justice, as a Supreme you have Court, to disclose exactly. these things. Exactly. Transparency, impartiality, uh, and that is what this, this story, on top of several others, Kara, you, you, you and I have talked about, uh, only going to raise calls now for greater transparency. Yeah, now calls for impeachment, even. Impeachment. Democrats today, they've been leveling calls against Thomas for years. This is going to amplify them. Fuel. Uh, we saw that uh, Congresswoman uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez today said this is corruption, this is shocking, almost cartoonish, she tweeted. Uh, she's demanding impeachment. That's perhaps not surprising from some on the left. Right. Uh, what is interesting, though, Senate Judiciary Committee Dick Durbin, he's the head uh, of the Judiciary Committee. He says legislation is the answer here. They have it on the table to require these justices uh, to have enforceable ethics standards. He says they're going to go there. All right. We'll stay on top of it. Devin, thank you so much. Thanks, Kira. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.